uh, I had a problem uh, where when I was cutting some circles I could not change the machine speed uh, enough to have full control over the cutter uh, after some thinking I remembered that I changed the uh, default speeds and acceleration values in the machine code as you can see here for example if you want to cut well if you draw an arch like this the cam software turns it into G code and turns it into a discrete path so if the acceleration value is too low the machine goes and it uh, can't reach the maximum default speed or the speed that you had set in the cam software because the path for the acceleration is too short so I did change these values in the uh, machine code you can see it right here the maximum f uh, feed rate now is 200 I believe it was somewhere around 100 before and the acceleration values I uh, had quite low I believe it was somewhere around 80 something like that and uh, also I increased the jerk value as well so now the machine is quite agile I can try to um, show you it right here let's say let's move it 100 millimeters towards us maybe ah you see the problem I can move it for example 10 millimeters that way let's say let's move it back you can see it moves quite swiftly so the problem was solved right well not exactly after increasing those values I did encounter the problem where when I moved the y-axis like this and that that way uh, at the maximum Z height I noticed that I had some quite a lot of flex in these joints and the whole gantry just wobbled like a pudding so I needed a solution for that and I remembered that uh, I had seen the previous version of the uh, lowrider CNC the first, uh, the first one, where uh, Ryan had used um, double-sided wheels, I really liked the idea, and uh, I wondered why uh, at the uh, second edition of this machine those wheels were gone. So I made. Uh, let's go to other other side. I made a custom Y plate as you can see here I just uh, basically added uh, this portion right here it's the same old Y plate as you can see but uh, with the uh, extra mount for the extra wheels and also it's adjustable to account for different thickness of uh, tables that's one thing and the other was that I changed the thickness of these boards to be more thick. This is 20 millimeter Baltic birch, and previously I had, uh, I believe, 16 millimeter. Yes. So this part right here, uh, this was very narrow, and you could physically see that uh, when the machine moved, this whole thing just uh, warped. Uh, it was like this was the pivot point and the wheel wanted to move upwards and it warped this this part of, to the outside uh, this modification really helped to increase the rigidity of the y-axis 
also I had some problems uh, before with the resonant vibrations and it seems that those uh, vibrations are now gone because of the extra stiffness well it, it still moves a little bit you can uh, you can't eliminate it at all in this design but it's much more rigid now so after that I tried uh, uh, to eliminate some backlash I had um, there was one project that I needed to do where I had to cut a profile for an LED strip and it turned out that the one side was approximately two millimeters thinner than uh, the other side and uh, I wanted to find the cause of it uh, well basically one of the causes was because of the um, uh, cutting strings it just uh, moved the whole gantry and it uh, sort of like moved like this when cutting and it uh, resulted in some error in the y-axis uh, <coughs> also these tubes flex a little bit and there's I believe nothing that I can do more about it because I added these tubes also um, you can see here some tests this was uh, uh, 20 millimeters second and uh, 3 mil DOC uh, this was I believe 30 millimeters a second also 3 millimeters DOC and this was uh, 10 millimeters second 3 mil DOC so when you look closely on these uh, square middles you can see that uh, this part is wider than this part and uh, this is consistent throughout all the samples and I would say that even with the slower feed rate it's even more pronounced so I tried another one this was uh, 20 millimeters 1 millimeter DOC and uh, the results were much better uh, I later increased well basically this was made by uh, uh, zeroing out the cutter and then lifting it 2 mils so the first cut would be uh, only 1 millimeter and the first cut uh, did the trick because it uh, made the profile of the cut more pronounced and later cuts just followed it so the middle square uh, improved quite a bit for this one and uh, I had another unexpected problem where I had some friendly rodent visitors I'll show you the carnage so I had some uh, cables that were uh, eaten by, you can see here sir, some marks I fixed the um, most prominent failures for example this cable was straight up cut off and uh, you can see here are some marks uh, now it's clean and everything but it was previously like after a bachelor party or something in here I guess this is a nice place for the mice to uh, do their thing also they even uh, ate a part of my freaking mice I believe there's a pun somewhere in there but yeah <clears throat> also 
the small CNC had some bad luck but the damage on this one was not that bad they just basically ate through the protection fleeing so the lesson learned I will definitely pay more attention to fight the friendly rodents that I have